This is Midwest Sports Now. Let's go ahead and head to our primetime five, which is a little bit later than usual. Ordinarily, I do this on a Sunday or a Monday. Tonight, it's Wednesday, but my very first grandson was born on Monday, so hopefully you'll cut me some slack on that one. Jasper, welcome to the world, and stay warm. It is a very cool night across the Midwest tonight, so let's warm things up with some talk about football for the weekend gone by. Lions' Randy Satterfield receiving honorable mention in our primetime five this week, two receiving touchdowns and an 87-yard kickoff return for a touchdown in Lions, 42-7 victory over Wayland Baptist. Honorable mention going to Corbin Bowles for Bethel. Now, Ottawa's quarterback, Connor Kagey passed 32 of 48 for the day, 357 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions, but it was Corbin Bowles with the extra point attempt block, that's right, the block, that secured a 46-45 victory for Bethel over Ottawa in overtime. Waldorf's Ryan Martinez receiving honorable mention this week as well. Martinez, four receptions for 152 yards and three touchdown catches in Waldorf's 26-3 win over presentation. The Warriors... In the top 25 now for another week. First time ever for Waldorf to be in the NAI top 25. And also Grandview's Pat Canby, who had a 96-yard fumble, recovery, and return for a touchdown. Grandview defeated William Penn 45-10. to Now to our prime time five. And the number five spot going to Bethany's Wyatt Townsend, the kicker, with three field goals on the day, two extra points through on the day, 11 points for Townsend. Field goals of 25, 23, and 20 yards. That last one, a last-second field goal to give Bethany the 23-20 victory over Tabor Townsend with that 20-yard field goal for the win. To the number four spot now, and it is Grandview's Austin Kuichi. He had 15 tackles, two tackles for loss, one of them a sack, and a forced fumble. The defense coming up big for Grandview with the 45-10 victory over William Penn. It was McPherson's Ed Crouch, the quarterback, passed 16 of 26 on the day for 349 yards. That's good enough to be in our number three spot. Four touchdown passes for Crouch. McPherson defeated St. Mary 49 to 27. The number two spot goes to Baker's Marco Anguinaga. 18 of 27 passing for 302 yards, no interceptions, three touchdown passes, four carries for 46 yards, and a touchdown run as well. Baker defeated Missouri Valley 41-7. to And the top spot on the day, well, it's going to go to a receiver. Now, Benedictine defeated Central Methodist 64-34 on Saturday. Quarterbacks Jordan Williams for Central Methodist and Schaefer Schultz for Benedictine had fantastic days. Williams with four touchdown passes. uh, Schutz with five touchdown passes. We're going to give the number one spot, however, though, to the receiver, Catavius Taylor. Seven catches, 174 yards, and he caught all four of Williams' touchdown passes on the day. So Taylor for Central Methodist in our number one spot in the primetime five. Thanks for watching Midwest Sports Now. We appreciate that. I encourage you to like and to share, and please subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sports Net as uh, we just continue to try to bring you the best in small college athletics throughout the Midwest. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching.